Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Friday Night Fight where tonight we have Season 3, Week 4 of pitting Wizards of the Coast Monsters against Cold War Press. We of course have Josh back to help us once again with the fights. Yeah, there you go. Um, and Josh will be using the Juan T. Pitmaster to represent the Wizards of the Coast and I myself will be using the Crimson Tusk Ogre to represent Cold War Press. Juan T. Pitmaster has initiative, so let's go ahead and get this fight started. Ready? All right, everyone, so let's go ahead and get this fight started. Can the best creature win? I plan to. Of course you do. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm going to use my Mershalk's Slumber. So as I see you, I start to sin this... I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Alright, so... That is going to be a fail. A 12. <laughs> the save is a 13. So... He falls unconscious as this... penetrates his skull. He falls... Unconscious or asleep? Asleep, sorry. Okay. sorry. So he's going to move the full movement, walking his way up. Skipping my turn. I'm just of course, quietly of course, happy yes. my turn. It's Thank good. You. Thank good. you. Thank Back you. Back to you. From. Thank you. Back to you. Thanks, Charles. How long am I asleep for? Uh, ten minutes. Uh, until hit. Horrible. Oh, well. So as long as you don't hit me, I could pull a draw out of he this. He leaves. <laughs> he, he goes to... <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Continue. <clears throat> Looking at these snake arms, Owen... Understanding. <laughs> Both hands are going to fly downward, so the first one's going to be with advantage because you are prone and asleep. Absolutely. And if it's a hit. <laughs> and that's a nat 20. That's 20. Alright, so that would have been a critical, anyways, pretty much. Bye. So. Okay, and roll for damage. He also has uh, Poison's Discipline, which he can use twice a day on the first time he hits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be 1d4 plus 3 for bite. Which, that's a one, so four. And that's from the bite portion? Yes, that's from piercing. So four piercing damage. Well, how much, what was your dice roll? One. Doubled? Plus three. Or, it's uh, doubled because it's a crit, so it's two plus okay, five. Okay, so just taking the right, 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 right. And then plus five more on top of that for uh, poison damage. And then... Five poison? Yes, five, okay. so it would be dropped to two. two. Yes. And then plus three d10 more... Poison damage. Okay. On top of that, so for that poison's one. discipline. Man, these rolls are low. Three D ten. That's ten s nine. Nine. Oh, six. That's seven, six. Nine or six. 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 Okay. So uh, twenty-two more yeah, poison 11. damage. Eleven. Okay. Okay, and now you have started to awaken. I'm going to. All right. So as you as you do whip those. Uh, one. Your, your first arm in there and start to inject the poison, you see that it doesn't seem like it's taking quite the effect that you thought it would. Um, and as you do that, he starts to wake up as you get ready for your second attack. Still prone though, so it will technically still be advantage, you just won't get the automatic crit. Too bad. Okay, this is 14 plus uh, 5, so e 19, I know how to count. That is going to hit. That is going to hit. So D4, that is 4 damage plus 3 piercing, so 7. Plus the 2D6 poison. That is Damn. 11. So, so going to be five. 5. And that will end my turn. Alright, so uh, feeling that, I mean, a little groggy from falling asleep, um, pain from the, from the wounds all over his body, he gets up using half my movement, which is not going to matter um, because he's going to now, um, he's going to use Berserker's blood. So all of a sudden you see him just start to roar and blood from the wounds just start spraying and spewing on you. Um, and I need you to make a uh, DC 14 constitution saving throw. That he's a 17. 17, so you save, so you will take half damage, but as the blood hits you, it, it starts to burn into your skin. Um, but you, you have strong resilience to it. Um, so you're able to fight most of the damage, and that's going to be 66 damage. 
Um, so that's going to be uh, 6, 14, 19, 22. Halved is going to be 11 damage. Damn, not as much as I was hoping. Um, and, and he just sits there staring at you with the, and the blood spews. You've got blood, little droplets of blood dripping down your face that start to burn into your skin. And with that, with the pain hitting me, mm-hmm. I will use Hellish Rebuke against you. Which, I have two third level spell slots, so it's going to go at third level. So usually it's 2d8 for the Hellish Rebuke, but now that it's third level, that's 48. Or that's any, 40, the Hellish 10, Rebuke is 40, any, hit, any hit, any hit, any hit. Any you, I had my cellular device, I mean my stone tablet. Um, one reaction, uh, which you take in response to being damaged by a creature okay. within 60 so feet of you. You're good, you're good. I was hoping it would say melee, yeah, I was really definitely on melee, but I couldn't remember. That is um, 19, that is 25 damage. 10, Eight. 8, 1, 6. Oh god. Wait, 10, 8, 1. So it was 10, uh, 8, oh, yeah. 1. I had one, and then I had a six somewhere. There we go. Yeah. Okay, how much? Uh, 10, 8, 1, 6. So, 25. So that's fire damage. 25 fire damage full against that. you. All right. Oh. <laughs> his skin just starts to burn, singeing up his cloth, his boots, everything. Just flames up a little bit, and then quietly goes out. And his next move is just both of the snake arms going for the jugular. So that's going to be, I'm going to roll for both attacks. Alrighty. Oof. Uh, that's an 8 plus, I want to say, 5, so only 13 on that one. That will miss. And a 20 on the second one. That's going to hit. Okay. And because it is the second one, it would, or is it the first time the Guanti hits? So that's, I'm going to be using Every turn? The first time you ever hit. No, twice per day. So this is my second time I can use the poisonous disc. Damn, you can do that twice per day? Yep. Jesus. So that's gonna. I'm gonna roll the piercing first, which that is three plus three, so six damage piercing. Okay. And then two d six on the normal damage, which is four normal poison damage, and then three d ten. The four you already have that. Mm, I'm resistant. I did not so have it. You rolled four. Yes. Okay, so that's only two. two. And then this three d ten, which would be. That will be 20 poison damage, so only 10 poison damage. And so one goes out and just... And you dodge while the other one goes for your stomach. And that's where the end of my turn. Alright, so he is... All right, um, all of a sudden you start to see him look at the own blood and he starts getting all into this frenzy rage, his body starts shaking. He starts getting angrier and angrier and he's gonna use his morning star, take a huge swing at you, and then he's gonna come back with a bite. So I'm just gonna roll both attacks uh, at the same time. Well, actually no, this will be the morning star. And um, actually, uh, he has advantage um, because of his blood frenzy. Just seeing if I can get oh. that 20. So it's a hit either way. So the Morning Star hits, and that's going to be uh, 2d8 uh, plus 4, which is going to be uh, 5, 9 points of piercing damage. <laughs> and then the second hit with advantage as well is going to be the bite. Is this some sort of peasant joke? Oh, God. <laughs> a 5 and an 8, so that's going to be a, uh, a 15 to hit. Oh. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep laughing, fella. Um, although this isn't, this, is, yeah, this like, fight's over, I think. 2d6 <laughs> plus 4, uh, 7, 11 points of damage. Um, so he comes in with the morning star and clubs you, and then kind of grabs you in and bites right on the throat. Arr! And just tears back, um, tusks just digging into your skin, ripping through the flesh a little bit. And that's going to end my turn, yes. Right as you bite into his neck, hell is your neck. Ooh, not great. Ooh, yeah, would be great. Um, that will be 22 damage. And that will uh, end the fight. <laughs> as simple as that. So. That hell is rebuke is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
So, as you bite in, as the morning star hits, <sighs> he looks up as blood is now covering mm-hmm. his other eye. And you come pull him in and bite. He's like, and with that, the flame goes down the throat and just... And like something out of Hellboy, your eyes burn outward as the body falls from you. Well, yeah, you're still up, though. And that's when it And that ends your turn? That ends my turn. <laughs> oh, no, that well, starts that, that my turn. Your turn. <laughs> yeah, now it's your turn. All right, well, um... Great fight, congratulations. That was quick and easy. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get back to the uh, start. All right, so that actually was a pretty quick fight and I have to say, whoever picked the Wan T Pitmaster, congratulations for getting that one right. Um, I thought this would actually be a little bit closer when I first set it up, but I don't think, uh, and a lot of people who picked the Ogre probably thought the same thing I did, thought that he had a better chance, but with that, spell and really not being a DC save on a health rebuke just mm-hmm. at third level just completely turn the tides of this fight um, and even with my poison resistance with you having what was it 3d10 uh, yeah I mean it's still it's still pretty solid damage on top of your regular hitting so um, that one team really took care of business I think you still had like almost 60 hit points left <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you weren't even halfway done. So again, congrats to everybody who picked that one correctly. Thanks again to Josh for helping out with the fight as always. Always. And um, so thanks everybody for watching. Click that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And go ahead and stay tuned for more videos. We've got a lot more fights coming up. Thank you. Thanks, guys.